Yo, yo, what's up? What's up? What's up? It's Khan's motherfucking podcast. Back in live and direct. Feel me? Hope all y'all had a nice New Year's. You know what I'm saying? Hope y'all toasted it up. Had time with y'all families, y'all significant others, loved ones. You know what I'm saying? Hope y'all had a good time, whatever y'all was doing. I hope y'all wasn't out on these streets. You know what I'm saying? Trying to get it lit and get it popping. You know what I mean? On these streets with this virus going around. I hope y'all's in y'all house, houses and shit safe. But yeah, though, hit that like and subscribe button if y'all ain't already. You know what I'm saying? Just want to start off this shit. You know, it's episode 38. Welcome. Welcome. You know what I'm saying? We 38 episodes in. You feel me? Hope y'all enjoyed the last one. You know what I'm saying? Um, the last episode, which cut me off, you know what I'm saying, with the, uh, Eminem's um, Music To Be Murdered By. You know what I'm saying? A little album review, the side B. Uh, having a little difficulties with my phone and this YouTube shit, but it's all good. We're going to keep it lit. We're still here. You know what I'm saying? I'm recording now, having mic issues, but all that's finna, you know, move on to bigger, better shit, man. 2021. You know what I'm saying? But uh, yeah, this, I'm just, this episode just going to be talking about the wrap up. You know what I'm saying? 2020, covering a little certain shit that happened and shit. You know what I'm saying? Um, first and foremost, you know what I mean? We lost Kobe the top of the year. You know what I mean? Kobe Bryant, rest in peace to Kobe. You know what I'm saying? Um, yeah, we all know who Kobe was, the motherfucking Mamba. You know what I mean? Lost him in a uh, helicopter crash. You know what I'm saying? Died with his daughter and shit. Sad story. Um, that was fucked up. Then we lost Nip. We lost Nipsey, you know what I'm saying? That was another fucked up situation. Uh, what was that? I think March, end of March. Kobe was what, February? You know what I'm saying? And then COVID happened in March, shut everything fucking down and shit, you know what I mean? Shit hit and, you know what I'm saying? They put us on the stay at home order and shit all the way back in March. That was some new shit for motherfuckers to experience, definitely for me. I ain't never experienced no shit like that. Motherfuckers being forced to stay home and all this type of shit. And, you know what I'm saying? You deeming certain workers special and only certain motherfuckers can go to work and all this type of shit. COVID came. You know what I mean? Uh, man, just, you know what I'm saying? Police brutality still going on. It got worse. It was right in our faces. And then they killed George Floyd and left a knee on that man's neck for eight minutes. Sent uh, black America into a frenzy. You know what I'm saying? Let the whole world start, make, we made the whole world start feeling our pain, though, that we've been feeling. You know what I'm saying? George Floyd was, you know, something about watching that shit on the viral that was uh, just too much for the community. You know what I'm saying? And we just was tired of shit. So, you know what I mean? We went through the marches, the protests. I went to my first protest this year. Um, you know what I'm saying? Participated in a couple of them. Um, Shit was just crazy, you know what I'm saying? Just black people's letting they trying to let their voices be heard. We tired of that shit, you know? We tired of us being murdered and killed, you know what I'm saying? By these police, you feel me? So rest in peace to George Floyd, um, you know what I'm saying? Uh, they killed Rashad Brooks, you know what I'm saying? They killed Rashad Brooks in front of Wendy's for being passed out, sleep, you know what I'm saying? The whole shit escalated, you know what I mean? That man fought both of them pigs off him. You know what I'm saying? End up running. They end up shooting him in his back. Man. All while in the midst of us marching about the George Floyd shit. They killed another one. You know what I'm saying? Unarmed motherfucking black man. Um, then we riot and marched about that shit. You know what I'm saying? Um, Takashi snitched. You feel me? And lived and bragged about this shit. You know what I'm saying? I don't understand. How motherfuckers could snitch like that, brag about it, came on Instagram, and then broke the Instagram record. Nigga had two million motherfucking views. Motherfuckers was really paying, or, or not paying, but coming on his live just to see this nigga, like, bragged about snitching, saying, yeah, I snitched, whoop de whoop and bragged about it. That shit crazy to me. And we got all these other rappers getting killed. Takashi still living. That is shit wild, man. Nick Cannon, you know what I'm saying, gets fired from Viacom, which killed Wildin' Out, which was 
the culture show, you feel me? That shit was known for talking uh, anti-Semitism comments and talking about the white man on this podcast. But I mean, it was just speaking real shit, but you know, the world don't like to hear real shit, so, you know what I'm saying? Uh, I guess he forgot he worked for the white people still, you know what I'm saying? But uh, yeah, they fired the nigga while and out gone. I'm glad the other three cats had their own platform, though. Uh, Chico Bean, DC Young Fly, and Carlos Miller. You know what I'm saying? I'm glad they had their own little shit with the 85 South shit. They didn't just completely go in the hole. You know what I'm saying? After uh, they pulled the rug from under with the wild and out. Um, you know what I'm saying? If y'all ain't peep 85 South, definitely peep that shit on YouTube. Nice little cool show. The niggas be on there blowing and shit. You know what I'm saying? Doing interviews and shit, chopping it up. It's a real cool little laid back show. You know what I'm saying? Real funny, too, you know what I mean? Um, shit, you know what I'm saying? Versus. Then we got the Versus shit came about, you know what I'm saying? Born out of quarantine, you feel me? Got the little Versus shit on Instagram where these artists is putting their catalogs up against each other, which is entertaining. A lot of people entertaining that shit, shit doing numbers. Shout out to Swiss Beats and um, Timberland. I think they the niggas responsible for that shit. Um, Eminem and MGK had a little rap beef. You know what I'm saying? I think that started before 2020, but it led over into 2020. You know what I'm saying? Eminem obviously won that. I think Kill Shot blew Rap Devil out the water. Um, rap Devil was definitely a good diss track, though. I ain't gonna, I ain't gonna take no, 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 no nothing from MGK. He did his thing on that for sure. But uh, now he in a whole nother genre. You feel me? Nigga don't even rap no more. You know what I'm saying? So, you know. But that we all know how Eminem do in these beefs. You know what I'm saying? Every time beef with a motherfucker, they get sent down in the dark hole, man, in the abyss of not making albums and shit. Nobody fucks with you no more. You know what I mean? <laughs> you know what I'm saying? But uh, yeah, you know what I'm saying? Eminem beef. Uh, Pop Smoke get killed. Rest in peace to Pop Smoke. Rest in peace to King Von. You know what I'm saying? King Von came out to Savannah. We all know the situation. Got into it with Quando Rondo's peeps, popped him. Him and him and two other people died that 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 day, that night. Uh rest in peace to MO3. You know what I'm saying? Gun him down on the freeway. Rest in peace to motherfucking MF Dome. I don't know what happened, but they just released that he dead uh January first type shit. You know what I'm saying? December thirty first. Motherfuckers just found out MF Doom ain't even around. But all this family and shit kept it a secret, you know what I mean, on purpose. Uh, apparently he passed away October 31st. Nobody knew, but we all know now. So rest in peace, to MF Doom, hip hop underground artist, Breonna Taylor, George Floyd. Rest in peace to Rashard Brooks, uh, Fred the Godson. We lost him to COVID. You know what I mean? One of the dopest lyricists that was in there doing his thing in the mainstream thing. You know what I'm saying? Um, shout out to Benny Butcher holding that real lyricism down as far as the mainstream go. Uh, rest to Debo. Your piece of Debo, you know what I'm saying? We lost Debo from Friday. Alex Trebek, you know what I'm saying? Uh, a lot of the, all these cats is dead and gone, man. 2020, man, took them, took their lives, you feel me? Uh, Tory Lanez, you know what I'm saying? Of course, we ain't gonna leave him out. We're popping Meg the Stallion in the foot, you know what I'm saying? We don't know what happened in the car, you feel me? But we just know Meg the Stallion came living out that motherfucker, you know what I mean? And she a whole snitch, you know what I'm saying? I don't give a fuck what nobody say. She was keeping quiet and shit, but then she started coming out. Nobody knew really what happened until she came out and said, yeah, the nigga popped me. I think that's definitely ratting the nigga out. Um, you know what I'm saying? If you talk about this street shit and talk about this gangster shit, you know, you got to live by certain codes. But 2020, once again, killed even that. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So, uh, yeah, you know, Tory Lanez popped Mad the Stallion. We, got, we had Nate Robinson fighting YouTuber Jake Paul. First time a YouTuber is on some national boxing shit, you know what I'm saying? And it was dope. I mean, he he, they, he training, him and his brother training. Nate Robinson definitely ain't got no hands, though. You know what I'm saying? He came out there running at the nigga as something you don't do to somebody that's been training because all it's going to take is a sidestep and a counter, just like what happened, and you going night-night. You know what I'm saying? <clears throat> uh, speaking of boxing, we had Tank Davis give that brutal knockout to your boy Leo Santa Cruz. You know what I'm saying? With that mean uppercut, you feel me? We seen it, you know what I'm saying? The beautiful head movement, the beautiful counter, the beautiful 
uh, just it came from Oklahoma with it. You know what I'm saying? Cleaned that boy, knocked that boy chin into the ceiling. We loved it though. It was very violent. I fuck with Javante Davis. I don't think nobody fuck with him in the weight class. You know, we got all the, you know what I'm saying, the, the Devin Haney's and the, you know what I'm saying, all the mother niggas in the camp talking shit about each other, which is stupid. I mean, they all train at the same fucking gym. Yeah, but it's cool. I was entertaining, though. Know? You know what I'm saying? But, you know, it's the, the you know, the black on black beef and shit. You know what I mean? Shit got to end somewhere. But, uh, yeah, though. But that's what they, but, you know, that's another. But, yeah, though, uh, Donald Trump also caught the COVID shit. You feel me? 2020. I don't think he really did. I think it was a lie just to get some shit. And this dumbass motherfucker started saying we should inject ourselves with fucking Lysol and drink bleach and all this stupid ass shit. This motherfucker, this motherfucker really say what the fuck he want, man. He's real retarded ass type of nigga, man. I don't know, man. Definitely the first I seen in the presidency, I mean, he did a lot. He did what he did, you know, some positive, a lot negative. You know what I'm saying? But, um, yeah, you know, fuck all that, though. Uh, vaccine came in eight months. You know what I'm saying? I don't know how the fuck they're gonna develop a vaccine, something that's that take ten years plus to make. They made this shit in ten months. I ain't fucking with that shit. We got motherfuckers taking that shit, getting Bell's palsy. We got motherfuckers who took that shit. You know what I mean? Getting blood clots, all passing out, all type of bullshit going on because it's clinical shit that they don't know what the fuck it is. Motherfuckers who taking this shit, getting questionnaires from CDC every fucking day on how they feeling. Man, I'm not finna be no lab rat or no guinea pig for that vaccine. Only thing I'm gonna miss is cruises and flying. Because I know in the future, they're gonna say in order to get on this cruise, you need that vaccine. In order to fly, you need that vaccine. And that's that sucks. You know what I'm saying? Because I ain't fucking with it. So we'll see where that takes me. You know what I'm saying? Um... They gave us 1200 in March, you feel me, for this pandemic shit. They ain't giving nobody no extra has to pay at their job, though, you know what I'm saying? And then they just gave us, what, $600? Most people got that shit January 1st, you know what I'm saying? Which is cool, you know what I mean? But you took, you know, eight months, you feel me, when there's other countries I heard be giving their people $1,000 a month, $2,000 a month, you feel me, for the past eight months, though, every month type shit, you know what I'm saying? But America, nah. We get the shit in of the stick out this motherfucker. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? But, uh, yeah. Snoop Dogg, you feel me? Call Gail King a funky dog head bitch. You feel me? We all heard that shit across the viral news. Your phones, your computers, we all heard that shit. But she did disrespect Kobe after his death, which I didn't understand. You know, it's a touchy subject, and she was on some other shit. Um, then we had Deontay. Lost his first, lost twice. You feel me? First time we've seen Deontay Wilder hard-hitting ass lose. But like I always said, he needed footwork. He need that finesse. He need that, you know what I'm saying? He need, he need that extra footwork. He just, you can't win in a world-class type of sport like that with just one dimension to your game. I've been said this. I love Deontay Wilder. I love his power. Shout out to the heavyweights. He got brought the heavyweights back in the game. But at the same time, you got to have more than just that one dimension to your game. And if you're going to remain and keep that belt, that'll get you the belt off just sheer power. But are you going to keep that shit? That's, 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 that's where it's at. Um, so, yeah, that also happened in 2020. He lost twice to T.S. and Fury. Uh, Nicki Minaj had a baby. You know what I'm saying? Went out and got married. We all didn't really see that, you know. Everybody's so big fans watching Nikki dance and shake her booty and all that shit in these videos. We never thought we'll see her married with a baby and shit. Meek Mill having issues. Her previous dude talking shit, running up on each other. Oh, whole bunch of entertainment, you feel me, <coughs> with that situation. Um, Eminem's dropped the drop music to be murdered by, you know what I'm saying. Um, Danny dropped the B-side just recently. You know what I'm saying? Where he mentioned Snoop Dogg. Because um, Snoop Dogg said some shit on Breakfast Club. Um, Eminem said that he didn't really care about his top 10. He wasn't his top 10. None of that. All that is cool. That's all his opinion. But it's what he said at the end when he was like, yeah, we don't need that shit. Yeah, we can do without that shit. Talking about Eminem's music. So that's why Eminem got the diss. I mean, uh, Snoop got the diss from Eminem on Eminem's album. Definitely addressed that shit. 
Um, you know what I'm saying? I don't agree with Snoop on that, but you know, to each his own. To say that we don't need that shit and to discredit his music like it ain't shit, any artist would have took offense to that. Um, Jeremiah got COVID real bad. Uh, he was in the hospital. I don't know if everybody knew, but he was in the hospital down and out off that COVID shit. You know what I'm saying? He was down and out for the count off that COVID. A lot of people don't even know that, but he almost died due to that shit. You feel me? But shout out to him. He getting better now, though. And then we got K. Michelle suing Mano for Mano putting out there saying that her pussy stink. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, 2020 is crazy, man. <coughs> She's suing that nigga for defamation of character. Because the nigga said her pussy stank. Yo, man, that's wild to me. Um, that K. Michelle's on that suing hype for that. You know what I mean? But like I said, hey, it's 2020. You know what I mean? It's a lot of wild shit. Like I said, just in this list alone, all the wild shit I'm talking about. But, uh, you know, that's wild shit. Yeah, she's suing Mano for saying her pussy stink. Um, I started my YouTube channel this year. You know, shout out to my YouTube channel and all y'all that watch. All y'all that subscribe. All 230-something of y'all. I love y'all. Um, Adesanya and John Jones is still talking shit on Twitter about fighting each other, man. If y'all don't get that shit over with, sign the papers and start pressing for it with two of you niggas fighting, man. John Jones, stop ducking him. Out of sign you, stop ducking him. I don't know who's ducking who, but sign that shit. Get that shit lit. Dana White all about the money. He don't give a fuck about a rank, a weight class, or motherfucking, uh, motherfucking how many wins you got before you get the belt. Hey, look, UFC, Dana don't give a fuck about none of that. So, if y'all niggas want to fight, I know y'all can make it happen. Stop dodging each other. You feel me? Jordan put out a docuseries, you know what I'm saying, um, which was dope. It was a visual to all the talk and everything we knew about the nigga. The gambling problem, you know what I'm saying? It just put a visual to everything that we heard about. How he was heard about his dad, how other players felt felt in, 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 about him and shit, about his dominance and the way he was on the court, how he was an asshole, he talked shit. But, you know, somebody that great, they got to have them type of qualities about them. You know what I'm saying? But, you know, that was just a little sum up of 2020, my little sum it out. Touched on a lot of little shit that happened this year. Um, but, yeah, a lot of this shit still going on. Police brutality still going on. COVID still going on. 2020 brought in a bunch of bullshit and it's lingering. It stink. It's like a bad shit. You feel me? 2020 was like a bad shit. Like when you shit real bad and you had to shit for hours prior and you finally let that motherfucker out and you know how that smell just fucking lingers. That's what 2020 is. It's just a bad shit. You know what I mean? <laughs> the smell lingering and it fucking stinks. <laughs> shit stank. You feel me? But yeah, though, I'm going to wrap this up. 2020 happy new years to all you motherfuckers happy new years to the subscribers new subscribers i hope y'all fuck with the channel hope y'all stay fucking with it I thank you it didn't cut me off today we had 18 minutes and smooth through <coughs> but just follow the channel though mo to come edit in the cut edit in the come all that shit better cameras better audio quality everything is coming man just stick with it this from ground up shit this shit is shot on my iPhone 11. I ain't no GoPro camera doing this shit. I ain't no Shure mics. None of that is going on right now. You feel me? This is all from the root up type shit. And that's what my channel is about. The come up. You know what I'm talking about? So slowly but surely you're going to see this shit start getting better. Um, just stick with it though. You know what I'm saying? But shit yeah, though, I thank everybody for subscribing. Thank everybody for watching. You know what I'm saying? Help me on this road to get this shit monetized. You know what I mean? Help me on this road to start getting these views up. Share this shit. Share it on your Facebook, Snapchat, Messenger. Share it everywhere. TikTok. All across your platforms, man. This is episode 38. Kind of motherfucking podcast. You feel me? Constant content. I'm going to stick to that weekly. Try to drop once a week. You know what I'm saying? But here though. Tune in, hit the like button, subscribe, all that. Tell your friends, tell your grandmas, tell your homies, uncles, 
cousins. Tell all of them. Tell them about Khan's podcast.